Hello, everyone. Welcome to Let's Talk in English on PTS. Get ready to learn something new. My name is Gabe, and my name is Andrea. Our lesson today is called "Take a Taxi." We're going to learn about this kind of transportation. So let's start with our key words. Say them with us. Our first key word is wave. Wave. Mom waved at me from across the room. Taxi. Taxi. We didn't take the subway. We took a taxi home. Act. Act. Ashley is not really sad. She is only acting like she is crying. Million. Million. There are millions of people in this country, but we only have one, two, three, four key words. Let's look at them again. The first one is wave. Wave. Taxi. Taxi. Act. Act. Million. Million. Great job, everyone! Now let's go see our friend Eddie. One moment. Eddie? One Eddie. moment. Eddie, what are you doing? I、what? just need to pay the taxi driver. Oh, Eddie. 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 Okay. Thank you. Hello. <sighs> okay. Yeah. yeah. Are you、um, here? We're glad you're here,、mm -hmm. Eddie.、Uh, do you have today's mission? Today's mission. Okay. Oh no! I left it in the taxi. <gasps> well, go、Eddie. get it. Oh. Mere cats, okay, always forgetting、you. things. Okay, okay. okay.、Uh, today's mission. Yes, today's mission. Yes. Here, here it is. What's in Simon's package? What's in Simon's package? We will find out today. Let's begin with conversation A. Betty is looking at a travel book. She imagines she is standing on a street. She waves at a taxi. She acts like she gets in the taxi and starts talking to the driver. Simon comes into the post office. Betty doesn't see him. Well, this is interesting. Yes, hello, Gabe. Hi. Nice to see you. Thank you for waving at me. And are you waving at the students too? Yes. Hello, everybody. <laughs> That is great. Well, you know what. Wave is a key word, so why don't we start by learning it together? Say it with me. Wave. Wave. Now, when you wave, you usually lift your hand up and you move it back and forth. You can wave when you see someone. When you wave, it's a way of saying hello. It's a way of saying hello or goodbye. So you can say that you are waving hello to somebody or waving goodbye to somebody. Well, in our conversation, we see that Betty waves at a taxi, or she's acting like she's waving at a taxi. Now, when you wave at a taxi, it's a way to say, "Hey, hey, hello! I would like a ride. Please stop the car." And you can wave at a taxi. And another way of saying you want the taxi to stop is that you say、uh... you. Hail a taxi. You are using your hand to hail a taxi. H a i l. You hail the taxi. You hail the taxi, and we need to learn that key word, taxi. Taxi. A taxi is a car. You can use a taxi to get to places. A taxi has a driver. The driver will take you to places in the car. But he will also charge you. That's right. So a taxi, 计程车 is a very nice and usually quick way of getting from one place to another. You can take a taxi. Well, Betty is not actually waving at a taxi. She is just acting. Our key word is act. Act. Now, when you act like you are doing something, you are pretending. You are not really doing it. <laughs> I just wanted Betty to to get in the taxi. Gabe, 
Gabe, <laughs> where did it go? Gabe, are you okay? Why, why are you crying? Andrea, I'm acting like I'm sad. I'm not really sad. I'm just acting that way. Okay, thank you, Gabe. I understand you're very good at acting. Please take me to a tea house. Well, yeah, too. Betty, what are you doing? Simon, I'm going to Asia for a week. This book tells me how to get a taxi and talk to the driver. Fun. Yes. Oh, and you have a package. What's inside? <laughs> it's a book about New York City. Renee and I are going there soon. We're excited, but I'm not looking forward to riding the subway. Why not? I've heard that it's dirty and crowded. So tell me, Andrea, what did you just learn about the subway in New York City? Well, I learned that the subway in New York City is dirty and crowded. That's right. Or at least Simon has heard it is dirty and crowded. That's what many people are saying. And of course, if something is crowded, that means there are a lot of people. Too many people that it gets uncomfortable. Well, hey, it looks like we found the answer to our mission in this conversation. The mission is, what's in Simon's package? What's in Simon's package? It's a book about New York City. And New York City sounds like a nice place to visit, even though it could be crowded sometimes. Well, let's look at the beginning of this conversation. Betty says, please take me to a tea house. Remember, she is acting like she's talking to a taxi driver. So she says, please take me to a tea house. Now that phrase, take me, means to bring somewhere. So please bring me to a tea house. So if you want to take a taxi somewhere, this is a great phrase to learn. You can tell the driver, please take me to the mall. Please take me to the name of your school. Or if you go to your friend's school and you want to meet his teacher, you can ask your friend, hey, please take me to your teacher. I'd love to meet her. Oh, listen to this. What? Over 5 million people use the New York City subway every day. I read that over 2 million people use the subway in Taipei. And that's a lot of people, too. Maybe sometimes you can take a taxi. I guess I could. Then you should practice getting a taxi with me. Come on! So now Betty and Simon are going to practice getting taxis. You know, it actually looks like it would be kind of fun. What do well, you think? Well, it does seem like it's kind of fun because acting is fun. Well, Gabe, why don't you act like you are trying to get a taxi? Okay, well, in New York City, it's cold sometimes. So I'm cold on the street and there are many cars. Hello? Taxi? Taxi? Oh. A taxi! Taxi! Oh, Gabe, oh. I'm sorry. Ta ta Gabe, Gabe, oh. I'm sorry you didn't get a taxi. a taxi, but you know what? You act very well. You looked really good. Thank you. That's a police officer over there. Oh. I think he's looking at us. <clears throat> okay, then maybe we should continue our jobs and teach a key word. <laughs> Friends, our key word in this conversation yeah. is million. Million. Now, a million is a number. It's a one plus six zeros. And if someone has at least a million dollars, then we can call them a millionaire. M-I-L-L-I-O-N-A-I-R-E. Millionaire. Well, we learned that millions of people take the subway in cities all around the world. So be sure to practice what we've learned together today. Inspector E. 
Hi friends, it's Mrs. E here. This week, Max's car wouldn't start. He had to walk home. Do you remember what Sarah said to Max? Let's look again. Too bad we don't have public transportation in small town. Too bad we don't have public transportation in small town. Too bad we don't have public transportation in small town. We sometimes start a sentence with "too bad." Usually, it means the speaker is sorry or sad that something is not different. Sarah feels sad or is sorry that small town has no public transportation. She wishes it did. Here's another example. Too bad Denise can't come to the party. The speaker feels sad or is sorry that Denise cannot come to the party. Let's try another example. Too bad the subway doesn't come to this part of town. The speaker is sorry or feels bad that the subway doesn't come to this part of town. Too bad Tom didn't do better on his test. The speaker feels bad that Tom didn't do well on his test. Well, I hope you do well on your tests. I'll see you next time. Remember, practice what you learn because use it or lose it. This is Mrs. E signing off. Conversation replay. Betty is looking at a travel book. She imagines she is standing on a street. She waves at a taxi. She acts like she gets in the taxi and starts talking to the driver. Simon comes into the post office. Betty doesn't see him. Please take me to a tea house. Well, yeah, to Betty. What are you doing, Simon? I'm going to Asia for a week. This book tells me how to get a taxi and talk to the driver. Fun. Yes. Oh, and you have a package. What's inside? <laughs> It's a book about New York City. Renee and I are going there soon. We're excited, but I'm not looking forward to riding the subway. Why not? I've heard that it's dirty and crowded. Oh, listen to this. What? Over five million people use the New York City subway every day. I read that over two million people use the subway in Taipei. That's a lot of people too. Maybe sometimes you can take a taxi. I guess I could. Then you should practice getting a taxi with me. Come on. Calendar phrase. Here comes the bus. Here comes the bus. Here comes the bus. Here comes the bus. Woo, Gabe, that was beautiful. Thank you very much. Yes. You know, it's a beautiful calendar It phrase. It's a beautiful calendar、mm -hmm. phrase. Today's、uh, calendar phrase is "Here comes the bus." Here comes the bus. Now, if you are standing at a bus stop waiting for your bus and you see it, then you can say, "Here comes the bus." Hey, hey, Andrea, here, here comes the bus. It's coming right now. Is that our bus? This is our bus. Okay. Well, friends, enjoy the calendar phrase skit. We have to go. Here comes the bus. Here comes the bus. Here comes the bus. Are you sure? What bus is it? It's the 902. That's the wrong bus. We're taking the 21. Oh, right. Oh, here comes the bus. Are you sure? Yes, 
is the twenty-one. Here comes the bus. Great. Let's get on. Here comes the bus. Here comes the bus. Now, Eddie, did you leave the question of the day in the taxi? Oh, please say no. Please say no. No, I oh. didn't. Yes. yes. Good. 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 So, can you give us the question? Yes. Yes, I can give you the question.、Okay. Here it is. Do you like to ride in a taxi? Why or why not? Do you like to ride in a taxi? Why or why not? Well, I do like to ride in a taxi because taxis are comfortable, but they're not very cheap. They're comfortable but not cheap. So sometimes I like to ride in taxis. Sounds good, Gabe. Well, friends, ask someone this question today, and then join us again tomorrow right here on Let's Talk in English on PTS, where learning English can be. Fun.